Williams called a student of medicine and science, went from doctor to patient when he fell ill weeks ago. Dr. Stephen Threckell helped treat him at Baptist Hospital. How quickly did his illness, did it go from the illness to the diagnosis to his death? Very quickly. I mean, um, it was a matter of, of days uh, and, you know, just a tragedy. Dr. Williams, an orthopedic surgeon for Ortho South, died February 8th of multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MIS, a condition usually affecting children, attacking the immune system. The immune system attacks the body in many ways and in many places and just causes multi-organ system failure. It affects the heart, the gastrointestinal tract, uh, other places. Threckhell says Dr. Williams tested positive for COVID antibodies, meaning he had COVID at one time, but he never knew it. And he had gotten his second COVID vaccine just weeks before his death. After rumors that the vaccine contributed to his death, Dr. Williams' family allowed those who treated him to do the unprecedented, speak out about his condition. The family has been uh, incredibly generous and courageous at allowing the details of his case to be put out there by those of us who took care of him uh, just to try to make sure that the facts were out there true. They want to dispel rumors that this was a new variant of COVID. Dr. Threckhill says they never found an active virus in Dr. Williams' body. It does seem in every case that we have seen so far to be related to the virus itself. It's a post-viral, sometimes a few weeks later effect, not during the first part of it. So the vaccine itself could not be a protection against this because he had already been predisposed to the COVID um, well, you know, it's, a very, it's a very important question. It's something that, as I say, this is all very preliminary, and we're looking, uh, you know, with the CDC about how, uh, you know, how vaccines can play uh, in, in all sorts of directions, but we don't have any data to suggest that the vaccine has any effect in either direction. Health officials are meeting daily to study Dr. Williams' rare case. Still, the message. The way to avoid this rare, albeit uh, terrible illness, is to get the vaccine because the way to avoid it is to prevent the infection in the first place. Something they say Dr. Williams would want. He would want this out there and the facts. He would want the true facts out there and to have an effect to save other people. Uh, and, and you can certainly hear his voice in this by saying, get your vaccine. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.